of false and vain imaginations. But this controversy is greater than the LDS Church, for all churches and all religion originate in the vain and foolish imagination of the human mind. And yet imagining something does not make it true. True messengers are those who know the truth, because they receive it directly from advanced human beings, not through the imaginations of their mind, but literally through real face-to-face -face communication. Christopher Mark Demelka is a true messenger. Only Christopher can answer any question asked concerning who we are and why we exist. His answers ring true in the hearts and minds of those who are seeking for truth and who are not deceived by the false religions and philosophies of men mingled with scripture. And therefore, we dedicate this headstone before witnesses such as Ida Smith and under the all-searching eyes of those advanced beings who oversee this work and who will one day come and end all controversy as a memorial that will shine forth to future generations as a marker and ensign of real truth. Those who embrace the real truth of this marvelous work and wonder will liberate them, their minds and set themselves free. In marvelous and wondrous ways, they will be free to be who they really are and to find happiness, which is why they really exist. Yes, these truly are extraordinary claims, but now you have extraordinary proof. What I'd like to do now is uh, ask if there are any members of the media or of the public who are not familiar with this work, if you have any questions, and I'd be happy to attempt to answer them. I will tell you that we would also invite everyone to come to the uh, uh, to the, uh, to the uh, uh, First United Ch uh, Church, uh, First, I'm sorry, Universal Church, where we will uh, have Christi First Unitarian Church. Thank you. Is this off, is this off camera now? Please take this off camera. <laughs> and uh, this will not be on YouTube. Um, and we will, uh, we, and we will um, uh, at that time hear from Christopher himself. And he will answer questions there. But if there's anyone here that does have a, who does have a question, uh, I'd be happy to take that now, and otherwise then we will move forward to try to get to the church before it rains. Yes? That the question is, uh, when this was presented, and we're talking about the sealed portion, uh, actually, and the Book of Lehi was presented to the uh, to the LDS Church. Uh, the sealed portion was a uh, letter was written to the First Presidency. Christopher wrote that letter asking the uh, First Presidency if they would be interested in publishing it and describing exactly what happened, uh, and as well as offering uh, uh, the, the Church the Book of Lehi. The question is, was there any response, or do we have any indication of their reaction? And the answer, as far as I know, is no, we do not. We do not know uh, what, what we did not, we did not receive a response from the church. Yes, sir. Was Christopher at any time anyone else besides Hiram in past history? It's our understanding that uh, Christopher has served in other, other roles as a true messenger, yes. Yeah, the question was whether Christopher has served in other, in other uh, uh, roles in other, besides Hiram Smith, and the answer to that would be yes. Was he one of Jesus' disciples? Uh, he, uh, we did, we did, we did not, he, he was not one of Jesus' disciples. I can tell you, it's known publicly that uh, Christopher, the name Christopher uh, means bearer of Christ. Christopher's role today is to be a bearer of Christ in preparing for the Christ's return to the earth. The role he played at the time of Christ was before the disciples. He played the role of John the Baptist. The 116 pages that was were published in 2004 as the Book of Lehi, the 116-page lost manuscript. Are these available for purchase? Yes, available actually to download free of charge on the website, which is on your program, marvelousworkandwonder.com. You can actually read without charge the uh, the 116 pages, and you can also download any of the books that I described, including the sealed portion and the other books that I described in, in this uh, dedication. Where are the 116 pages? The 116 pages 
Uh, it's a great question. Uh, as you know, uh, as, I, as, as many of you know, uh, Joseph Smith entrusted them to his scribe Martin Harris at that time, uh, who then wanted to show them to his, his wife and, and family members to, to, to show that he wasn't maybe as, maybe as crazy as they thought they, that, they, that, he, that, they, that he might be. And uh, they were stolen. Uh, the, my, my understanding is the LDS Church has no clue where they are. Christopher knows where they are. He knows the people that have them. Um, he, there is a, uh, uh, if you will read the, uh, uh, download the Book of Lehi. Uh, I'm, actually, I'm sorry, the Book of Lehi is found as an appendix to the sealed portion. When you download the sealed portion at the website, and there's an introduction introduction concerning that, and I believe there's a description about how w w where where it is that the 116 pages is 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 held, and who the people are that are holding it, and why. I'm thinking we want to get out of this cold, don't you think? I mean, I'm, I'm happy to ask.